Hi everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one is about the Google My Business Appointments link. And we're making this video because we are getting some questions after our previous video tutorial about the Google Booking, also known as the Google Scheduling tool that's out there. So there are two different things. One is this Google Appointments link and the other is the Google booking feature that's now out there. Let's go take a look at it. So let's talk about what it is, uh, why it's important, and how is the, the public going to use it or see it. Okay, so the Google Appointments link. Here, first we'll show you where it's missing inside of Google Maps. Here inside of Google Maps, we just went ahead and looked up btfoom.com. So we looked directly for a business, and that's us. And we want to show you that it wasn't there, right? We've removed it. And we'll, we'll show you adding it here later. So we can also go to regular Google search. Okay, inside of Google search, if we just look up btfoom.com, we'll see over here on the right where the, the btfoom is here, and yet we see that it's missing. In fact, it's not even available. So when it's missing, a business doesn't even know it. They don't know it's available. So that's kind of why we started with this tutorial, thought it was important, because it's gonna be hard for you to know unless you're being informed like good tutorials. We'll show you another way that the public can see this, and that's with Google Maps searching a service. Okay, inside of Google Maps, if we search for a service like car repair inside of a given town like Laurel, <clears throat> we can see that here, if we if we go ahead and click on the individual place, we'll see right here in the appointments link is where this link, and if we click on this, it takes us right to the website's appointment page. So I think that's part of why it was getting confused with the Google booking or Google scheduling, because it does a lot of the same things, but it's really a separate entity, a separate feature, and, and you can have both set. You can have both appointments and booking set if you want. Right? From an SEO standpoint, it may be strongest to have your appointment set because it takes a link directly to your website if you choose. And let's see how the public sees it in one more way. Here's how the public may see it if they go to Google Maps and they search specifically for a given business. Here in the left, we see this is where it's strange that it says when we put our mouse over it, it says open booking link, which is a, even a little bit more confusing because honestly, it's the appointments link and not so much the bookings link. So it can be a little confusing for folks. But now that we understand how the public sees it, we'll go see how to set it for a business inside of Google My Business. Okay, inside of Google My Business, and I'll put the link to how to get to Google My Business if you're new to it, you need to have it claimed and you need to be logged in with the email address that claimed the Google My Business. Once you have that, you're usually gonna land here on the home page inside of Google My Business. And it's if you look over here in this left vertical menu, it's gonna be a little confusing because you don't see an appointments link here. Now, you might think it's inside of, of services or products, or you may even see a booking tool here. And that's not it, believe it or not. So it's a little hard to find. But if you come here to info and left click on that, that will actually open up where we can finally get down to the appointment URL. That's where you're going to find it. Okay, so again, you're inside of Google My Business, click on Info, scroll down, and you'll see the appointment URL. And when we click on this, we now see the ability to enter the URL for our website, but here's where it is, the appointment URL. And of course, you can put yours in here, and I'll go ahead and put in BT Fooms, and as a shameless plug, you can go ahead and come over to BT Foom. Uh, dot com slash contact dot php and you can get a hold of us if you want help setting this up or you have any other SEO services that you might need help with like keyword research to really get you started. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this in and then click apply. Now take a few seconds to go ahead and save. 
All right, now we'll see it showing up here. All right, so that's how you add it inside of the Google My Business. Okay, so now if we go and check out these same features that were missing before, we now see when we go, for example, to look for btfoom.com inside of Google Maps, and we see that now there is the booking link. And that's confusing. I just used the term booking link, but really it's the appointments link that we just added. Okay, so even though Google is kind of switching the words here in the middle, their titles for what it is, it's important to understand from the from the business owner standpoint, this is the appointments link, even though it says booking link. Okay, so let's take a look at it inside not only of Google Maps, but let's take a look at it inside of just a regular Google search. Okay, so here we are inside of a, just a regular old Google search, and it, right now it's missing, right? We'll go ahead and research again. Now when we come in, we see right here, the appointments link and when we click on it it takes us right to the page for BT Foom. this is where you can go ahead and if you want you can contact us and ask for any of the, the information that you may need alright so I hope this helps and I hope it helps to clear up a little bit of confusion of how it, this feature is being shown in different ways across Google Maps and across Google search but it's really important for a business and it's important for their SEO because you're building another external link that's going to your website. So it's important from an SEO standpoint, from a ranking standpoint, and it's also helpful in a real user conversion type of way for a business. Meaning a, a person may be coming to look for you and actually want to make that appointment right there. You're making it a one click. So the only thing they have to do is boom, they'll click on this, come right to your site, and be able to uh, grab and, and convert exactly what they need done. All right, I hope this helps. And if you need any further help with SEO, SEM, or your help your ranking, you're building an overall web presence, or any of the services, you can come on over to btfoom.com. All right, I hope this is helpful in understanding the difference between the Google My Business appointments and the Google My Business bookings or scheduling and how it's set. If you're looking for that Google booking and that Google scheduling video, I'll go ahead and put a link to it below in the description. All right, so if you want to check that out and see the difference, that's the Google booking, the Google scheduling feature, which is relatively new for the middle of 2019.